Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and look at what the messages are coming through. If you want to see, of course, my readings in the future, make sure that you subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and hit the notification bell as well so you can get notified when I post and when I go live and take personal reading questions. That's when I answer your questions um, and you guys can get answers to whatever you're going through. But let's jump into it. We're gonna pull nine cards from this deck. We have the tree, the anchor, and path as the first three cards. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. Okay, so we have the birds. The stork. The fish. Urgent messages for my Aquarius in this current moment. Okay. Okay. So we have the snake, the tower, and the moon. Let's back this up just a little bit. And I'm going to pull four cards from this deck. What are the urgent messages for my Aquarius? Someone rising in Venus placements for... Okay, let's see. So we have, when you step outside of your comfort zone, progress is always made. No feeling is final. Everything passes. Back this up just a little bit. Mark each day's end with gratitude. Don't let past events color your vision for the future of your future. Excuse me. So looking at the Oracle cards, just kind of starting there. Spirit is pointing out that you need to try a different approach. If you're realizing that maybe your approach to how you deal with your finances isn't necessarily working or the approach with your relationships or your love life in general, if you are single, uh, you could be wondering like, why is my love life dry? Or why haven't I connected with somebody who it feels worth giving it a chance or worth the effort? And maybe you need to take a different approach or step out of your comfort zone in terms of you know what you've been subscribing to especially if you want a different experience and this is making sure that you're not letting the past have you in a place to where you just kind of feel bound to the past whether that's dating past people only uh and not dating people new people because you're scared of new experiences that may come with that versus knowing what to already expect with exes that may not be good for you in the first place. But to get deeper, uh, first row, we have the tree, we have the anchor and we have the path card. So the tree represents, um, our ancestors, our family tree, uh, our level of groundedness, growth, spiritual connections, the body, okay, your health and well-being. The anchor represents stability. It represents groundedness, uh, long-term success. And then the path represents choice, decisions that have to be made here. So looking at the cards that we have here, I think that there's a family member who could be needing some sort of support from you, whether that's you know, a place to stay temporarily, but they're scared to ask for it. Or you could have a family member that lives with you. And the message here may be that the best way that you can support them is by giving them options and not just kind of like letting them be enabled by you, if that makes sense, okay? Not only that... I feel like there's some sort of health issue you guys need to make sure that you're working through, whether this is like through herbs uh, instead of traditional mes uh, medicine, but at least trying to treat some sort of like terminal illness or illness in general through, like I said, consistent 
measures. And I, I feel like for a lot of you, you would benefit from taking certain herbs, especially if you have some sort of like health issue around the pelvis or something. Anyways, uh, another thing that I'm picking up on, there could be multiple treatments, multiple ways that you can fix some sort of um, health issue. I, I keep seeing stuff around health with this, okay? There also may be alternative options when it comes to getting to some sort of career goal. So if you're trying to build a business, for example, you could be having this one-way perspective in terms of how you can accomplish making this business successful, but you could be needing to adapt to alternative ways. So for instance, maybe this is an in-person business. Maybe you may be needing to venture out and put this business on social media and that's how you'll be able to uh, get more success in terms of this business. Also, last time I'm gonna kind of touch on the health thing. If you do have a health issue that you're not, that you've got diagnosed for and you're not 100% sure if that's really the true diagnosis for you, you will benefit from some sort of like second opinion. All right, but going into the other cards, so we have in the second row, the birds, the stork, and then we have the fish. The birds represent conversation, gossip, uh, music, anxiety, um, phone calls, curiosity, what else? Rumors, chatter, like overall, just to me, this is my gossip card my gossip card and my like conversation card. The stork represents new beginnings, um, new life, seasons changing. The fish represents uh, abundance, like long-term abundance is like real wealth, okay? But with these cards kind of popping up here, there could be conversations that's needed to be had or a conversation that needs to be had with the person you may have children with. Uh, they may even wanna speak to you now, whatever this conversation may be about is going to be different for each and every one of you, but there's definitely a much needed conversation or a conversation that's wanted to be had here. You could also have a family member that wants to come to tell you that they're pregnant but they don't know how you will react or there could be some rumors around a pregnancy. So maybe there's like some rumors <laughs> This kind of messy. There could be some rumors around like a family member, someone that you know, where, you know, this talks about who is, uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, there could be conversations around someone's pregnancy, um, that may be close to you. I'm also getting the sense if you are pregnant, you may be needing to speak to a doctor. There may be certain things that you need to um, like address in terms of your personal health when it comes to this pregnancy. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of stuff around health. Another thing that I'm picking up on, I feel like if you have a business partner, there may be a need for you to have some sort of conversation with them as well in terms of the business and where which direction it's going in and having just uh, conversations around like who's paying for what or how is this going to get done in the business? Like some sort of check-in, especially when it comes to how finances are being managed to just overall. But the last row, this is gonna represent, or the cards that we have here, we have the snake, we have the tower and we have the moon card and the snake represents uh, betrayal. Uh, envy, lies, deception, jealousy, temptation, okay? <laughs> this is an interesting card, all right? Affairs, complications, other women. And the tower, this represents like structures. This represents um, like government buildings, stuff like that. And then the moon card represents, of course, just like the regular tarot, illusions, things that you're not aware of. But with this energy showing up, some of you guys could find out about some sort of affair that your husband or wife could be having, or there may be somebody that you already know your partner kind of like runs back and forth uh, between you and that person. 
Um, you may know that that already kind of goes on and you could be deciding on whether or not moving on that divorce is the best thing for you to do. And some of you guys could be finalizing this divorce in the future. You could also be needing to file some sort of police report on somebody who's like a stalker here. This could be um, an ex who, who's like stalking you or somebody who you have issues with who could be like going out of their way to kind of like antagonize you. This also the energy of you guys manifesting your desires during this time frame. So be careful of what you're focusing your energy on, especially if it's negative. You also could slightly feel betrayed by a friend or a lover here after finding out some sort of information. Um, now, this could be something that already happened. And like I said, there could be a lot of uncertainty around the future of this connection because of these lies that may uh, have been exposed or for some of you will be exposed. But these are just some of the things that I'm seeing. I hope that this reading was helpful. If it was, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.